G'day, this is just my review on the Primus or Primus Varmint Scope Light. This is the 300 yard version. Um, it's really lightweight. It's, um, yeah, I don't know how light, but it's bloody light. It's just all like plastic and rubber sort of stuff. It's, um, if I could balance it on one finger, oh, oh, you yeah, probably could. Hang on. There you go. It's, yeah, really light. So, um, I've got this, it's purely, it's really made just to mount on a rifle. Um, so this is the, um, it comes with a, a ring clamp. I can show you what it looks like set up on a rifle. A photo, there's a, a website here. So that's how it'll look when it's set up. And it's got that red filter on it. They snap off, it actually, well, like removable snap off. It also comes with a green one. And it's got the uh, the, pro, the tail switch. I'll just while we're here, I might as well just show you. So it's, they're called their 300 yard one, and this is just off a website I found on Google. Um, this is just some of the specification. It doesn't list the actual battery um, spec, but it, it's about two two and a half hours claimed runtime, and it's USB sort of charging. It says two hours plus on a continuous run on the on the brighter setting. So. Yeah, that's that. There, Google it for all their specs. There's um the info there if you need it. Um, so yeah, I've had this now for probably yeah I don't know what a couple of years, and um, I've uh, used it. Yeah, it's been used for hunting, but it's normally gets used. My son actually uses it a lot, just for me go for bush walks and all that. This is a nice little torch for him. It is a bit average with this on the bottom, but it doesn't come off. Um, and I've just taped this tail cap up so it's easy for him so you can just turn it on and off um, yeah so that's what it normally gets used for and then you can flick this it comes with a green one as well um, I think does it I'm sure it does yeah um, yeah so there we go oh, it's on so I hope I don't break it here um, I think you just there we go don't worry, I was uh, was a bit nervous. So it's got a, a split in it here, like it's a that's how it's made. Oh, I can't really get there. You go. So and it just snaps on. So it comes with the green one as well. But you know, we just use the red one. These things to find a lot of the animals and koalas and different stuff we can look at on bush walks and that as well. Um, and it's a nice light little torch. You probably want to be changing these all the time because I reckon they'd um, break now. I can't get it back on. I have changed them before to try them. I'll just let the video run, so this is all part of you know what happens. And it does look like I'm not going to get it back on. It should go on. We'll just um, try it a bit here. It says make for a good uh, review, won't it? Uh, of me breaking my bloody own thing. I'm just trying to be firm but gentle to get it back on. But it doesn't want to uh, go. We'll try doing it this way. So this is where it sits there, and then, uh, oh, we won't bore you with that in the review. There you go. Well, that's part of it, I guess. Pain in the ass to put back on. I don't want to put too much pressure on because I really am worried about um, breaking it out of focus. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So we'll leave it off for now. That's the filter anyway. And it'll, it'll lock down normally and flip back. As I said, I don't want me to take it off. So I've only swapped it once, I think, in the whole time I've had it. So, yeah, maybe it's got a bit aged, the plastic has, and a bit stiffer now. It's got the flex in it to pop on and off. So I don't know if I'd recommend changing them every time you use it, because that could become an issue. Uh, it's the 300-yard model anyway, as I've said. It says it on there. You can't see because of the tape, and there's their brand on there. Um, this says nothing great there. It's an American company, but made in uh, China. Um, so anyway, it's got a fixed tail cap switch thing here. You can't change that. It's, uh, I guess it's designed for probably a rifle, but I don't use it as that really. Normally, um, we just use them for, you know, like a bush walking sort of torch because it's lightweight and it's very bright and for, and it was good value. That's why I sort of got it. Uh, it runs off for charging. It's just a USB, micro USB. You can, uh, I think it comes with a little black USB cable and then you can just charge it with whatever you got. Um, and there is a color indicator light in there that comes on when you're charging, you know, obviously red and green for 
charge tape. So anyway, it's been a it's been a good light uh, so far. It's that's the high, and that's the low. There's no beam adjustment, uh, anything like that. It's just the lower end, I guess, in, in the grand scheme of things for lights. But it's a great little uh, light. Probably good for uh, if you're hunting with rimfire stuff, I guess, uh, in that sort of range. Um, so you, uh, you get good solid light under 100 uh, meters or yards, um, either or. It, yeah, it's rated to a couple of hundred, I think. But you know, it also depends on your scope and stuff. You know, if you've got a really good scope, then you'll be able to push the light out further. But um, yeah, that's it. So would I buy another one? Uh, yeah, probably would. It's it's a good light and. Um, well, let's get to it. Let's show you what it looks like um, at night time. I don't know where the green is, so I can show you the red, and uh, I'll make sure I'll get this back on when I'm uh, not worried about the video so much. Anyway, we'll be back soon with some night shots. Cheers. All right, guys, uh, still in suburbia, but we'll show you the Primos or Primus light now. This is with the red filter. Uh, those trees there are around the probably 25 meters away it's on low I think is it a high oh that was high so we've got a bit of moonlight tonight okay and we'll take the lift the filter cap up for you filter cap up and that's the high there so you can clearly make out the the tree and is a it has got that sort of flood ring around it but it definitely got that spot in the middle and that's that low beam on it and um, a bit harder to make that tree out um, I can see it with my eyes it's a bit different with the camera um, what it makes out so that's about yeah you can probably see a bit more than what the camera can just how the phone picks it up but yeah that's a good distance that's 25 there we'll try and push it out a bit more see so you're looking around the 50 sort of over there there's some mounds of um, mounds of dirt just there, looking around 50 metres or so at least there. Um, so you definitely get eye shine out way past that as well. So a good 50 metre range with plenty of light. Uh, would seem a lot brighter obviously if it wasn't a uh, bit of a moonlit night and also ambient from industrial area ambient light. Anyway, so that gives you a rough idea what it's like. And that's just on low up close. So it's just a good, you know, walking torch and stuff. Anyway, hope you liked it. Cheers.